Expedition meet with every success. Thank you. Thank you, Father Ozai. You must be proud that your son has been chosen to guide Captain Fremont into the great Northwest. I am proud, Padre. I need hardly ask that you ever respect the motto of your family. Faithfulness with bravery. Faithfulness with bravery. There's Captain Fremont and the troops now. Robert. The troop is waiting, and if you're ready, we'll start. My blessings on thee, my son. Hey, how about taking a turn on this hole? I told you not to buy him in the first place. Whoa! <laughs> With your permission, Captain? I oh, certainly. Go ahead. See, I told you not to buy that horse in the first place. Don't go. He won't give you any more trouble. I know he won't give me no more trouble. Much obliged, but I'd rather walk. Well, what do you say we trade, saddle and all? It's a good idea. It's a perfect idea. It's a trade. Goodbye, Senor Loring. Goodbye, Captain. Take good care of Don. My gratitude for your assistance and hospitality. Bye. Thank you. 
high grade, all right. Trouble of it is, you don't produce enough of it. What do you suppose I hired you for? General Burr, I'm working with primitive equipment. Perhaps if I had more men. Getting miners is your job, Talbot. What about it? We've been rounding up peons right along. But if too many disappear, somebody will get wind of what we're doing. You have no right to this gold. It's on land that belongs to Senor Loring. Don't. What do I care whose property it is? Gold is a means to an end. I have use for it. When you first brought us here, this country was a land of peace. Now look what you've done to it. Murder and slavery. When my father and I are no better than prisoners. You are prisoners, Miss Colton. And you'll remain so just as long as I need your father's mining experience. Get out there and see what's up, Talbot. Expecting you. General Burr, Count Raspinall. Well, I've been looking forward to this meeting for some time, Your Excellency. Uh, won't you sit down? Credentials. Yes. Yes. Your message to my government stated that you had a matter of great importance to discuss. Yeah. We both know that certain countries would like to own California. Am I right? Go on. Your country and the United States, for instance. Yet, California is a province of Mexico. Just how does all this affect my government? With the backing of Imperial Russia, I could build myself a colonial empire west of the Rocky Mountains. What do you personally expect to gain? Supreme dictatorship. I fully realize that California is a rich territory. But under no circumstances would my country consider laying claim to it. And why not? Because annexation would lead to war both the United States and Mexico. Yes, from a land rich with gold. Gold in California. Then why doesn't the United States government do something about it? For the simple reason that outside of me and my men, and now yourself, no one knows the secret. Very interesting, General. But there's one obstacle. Fremont and his American troops. I control Ortega Pass and Come over here at the map and I'll show you. I want to show you, Count Raspinoff, we have nothing to worry about. Our Tego Pass here is the only way into Sonoma Valley from the north. Fremont is over here in Oregon Territory mapping out trails. He won't be back this way. my friends, the Columbia River. Your government now has a route to the great Northwest. Come on in! Fall out! We'll make camp here. Watch that center pip and I'll show you something. Let me show you how to do it. You missed it too. Well, I'll be dull gone. <laughs> well, I might have known it was you, Don. <laughs> I see you're still keeping up with the old boy. It's been a long trip. I hate to lose you. Do you really have to go back? Well... I'm afraid so, Captain. California's in my blood. It's quiet there and peaceful. 
You know, there's a little mission near my father's hacienda where the bells ring softly and... that I have manpower and gold enough to satisfy even your demands. Well, I grant that you have the gold. But your proposal that I furnish you with regular Russian troops is out of the question. It's entirely up to you, Count Rasmus. I stand ready to deliver Imperial Russia a very wealthy colony. However, uh, pending the approval of my government, I can furnish you with ex-soldiers in the Russian colony at Fort Russe. How about guns and ammunition? Well, I can arrange that also, provided uh, I profit by the deal. I can see that we understand each other perfectly. Beyond raids are increasing. No man's life is safe. You are right, Signor Lori. But we must have patience. At least until we know who is responsible. Patience is all right, Padre Mio. But I intend to protect my land against intruders. Come on, son. Start them for the south range, Dark Feather. We'll look for the others. Si, senor. What are you doing on my property, Senor Burr? I was just uh, looking over the land with the idea of making you an offer. You know that not an acre of my rancho is for sale. I'll be pleased if you stay away. I'm sorry you feel that way about it, Senor Loring.
I see you have all the qualities of a dictator. Then, for my brother, done. They shall not rest, Padre Mio, until their deaths have been avenged. Think not of vengeance, my son but of justice. All the forces of evil seem to be at work in our land. No one knows who is responsible, so you must be very careful to hide your identity. I understand, good father. Dark Feather has told me everything, but I intend to fight fire with fire. If I don't know them, they at least will not know me. And when I strike, it will be with the swiftness of an eagle. any man interfering with my plans. Now, I've offered a reward for the death of the Eagle. You've got to get rid of him. I've tried, but I can't get a line on him. You don't know what else to do. Do? We have got to trap him. Get rid of him. Do anything. Hey, here's something you haven't tried. Now listen. Thank you. 
in there. Let's go search the mission. Search the place good. He must be in here someplace. Where'd you get that organ player? From Monterey, senor. He's a great musician. Nobody that plays an organ's any good. Eagle ain't in the mission. Come on. I believe you know more about this than you told. done this to you. Senor Bergman. That's a beautiful ring you have there, senor. Jason Byrne. Who is Jason Byrne? The most powerful man in California. You should be glad he wants to see you. Why? Why? Because he wants to make a deal with you. Very well. I'm ready to go. But I wouldn't try any funny business if I were you. Don't worry, I'm not that foolish. Him, all right. Come on, fellas. It's the eagle. Back to the port. Your father's murder has been took care of. Ain't you satisfied? No. There's more behind this than we thought. I'll never stop till I get the man behind all this. Now, tie me on the back of this mule. Trained soldiers from the Tsar's own army. Good. Report to me later. Hey, how does it happen? 
Martin Eagle picked you to deliver a message. I don't know, senor. I'm just a simple musician. I... Uh... Lock him up till I have more time to question him. Take him off. Petro! You bring that ammunition to Kyle Rathenau, promise? Have your Cossacks unload the wagon. Harm you? I, I know you won't. Thank you, Senor Dito. Oh, you mustn't go downstairs. They'll kill you. Not if I can help it. Stand still, Bert. First move will be your last. I sent word that I'd be here. What's your proposition? Smart man like you. Yes, yes, that's what Barsom said. Barsom was a fool. He got only what was coming to him. If you join up with me, I'll make you one of the richest men in California. I have unlimited gold, the backing of one of the greatest countries in the world. You've already sent me ammunition and Cossacks. Nothing can stop my conquest of California. Does your campaign include the whipping of innocent priests? Well, if you oppose my plans, yes. Here's my answer. Take off your coat. I said take off your coat. You hit me with that whip and I'll make you regret it the longest day you live. Who 
Lieutenant! Shoot him down, you fool! He lived through that. Eagle won't bother us anymore. You can send your men back to their post. Well, they did. with that foreigner. Huh. All ready for you, Count. I brought good news, provided you've done your part. And you think that the one man who could have saved us is dead.
You shouldn't have come back. Thank you for your interest, Senorita, but I wouldn't want to disappoint Senor Burr. Please, be careful. And when will you make payment for the arms and ammunition I brought you from Fort Russe? Where is the ammunition? Safely stored at Santa Rosalie. And there it will remain until you've carried out your part of the bargain. Now let's go to the mine and bring back the gold set aside for Count Raspinall. Yes, sir. Your pardon, General Burr. You wish to question the prisoner? Oh, turn him loose. I thought he might lead me to the eagle. But now that the eagle is dead, there is nothing can prevent me from becoming supreme dictator of all California. Yes. With the aid of Imperial Russia. And under her flag. Right. You mean I can go now? Gracias, senor. Gracias. <laughs> Best thing for you to do, young fellow, is to stick to the organ playing. Take it in the general bar. imperialism. 
The Eagle. Then this ends our agreement. The Eagle revealed our secret negotiations. It will mean more with Mexico or even the United States. I will not jeopardize my government. But you let me have the ammunition stored at Santa Rosalie. What for? Without soldiers, guns have no value. I'll get soldiers. I'll conscript an army. I'll draft every man in Sonoma Valley. Better off! Assemble your men. Ride to every town, ranch, and hacienda. For you, Padre Mio. Give it to the poor. Why, what's happened? Jason Burr raising an army. Hi, Cracky. Rebellion. Then we'll take justice into our own hands. Organize the ranchers into a vigilance committee. Oh, but what can a few men do against an entire army? We can strike before they organize. Burr is depending on ammunition stored at Santa Rosalie. Come on, boys. Ride to every hacienda in the valley. We're going to fight fire with fire. Tell the ranchers to meet me at Coldwater Canyon. <laughs> Sonoma Valley, for many years we have lived here in peace. 
Now our homes, our liberty, even our lives are being threatened. We must organize against invasion by a foreign power and restore peace to California. Do you approve? We do! Yes. Even now, arms and ammunition are being stored at Santa Rosalie. Our first move is to raid the warehouse. At 12 o'clock, we strike. I thought I told you not to come here. Someone might see you. But I had to, General. The Eagle's tearing up the ranchers. He's forming a vigilance committee. Vigilantes? What do I care about vigilantes? I'm forming a normie. But you must listen. They're going to raid Santa Rosalie at 12 o'clock. They're after your ammunition. Well, why didn't you say so in the first place? Petro. Somebody of Cossacks, ride to Santa Rosalie. I want the Eagle dead or alive. Let me stop. Seems pretty quiet around here to be natural. Where do you suppose the rest of them are? They're hid back here somewhere. Hmm. This ain't gonna be no picnic. Who do you suppose they are? Oh, just a couple of old crows. Keep the men on the cover. It isn't 12 o'clock yet.
the eater were here, she'd get away before the smoke clears. That's a good idea. I'd get here sooner, but the Russians cut me off. Who might you be? He's all right. He's Clem Figures. I know him. Well, let's keep an eye out for the eagle. There he is. Let's go. Mount up, boys. Let's get to a meeting place. Looks like a mighty good place to hide. Them Russians never would find it here. Whip, so you get out and keep an eye on that open country, will you? Good idea. Now, men, we're in a dangerous situation. Jason Burr has formed an army, and we've got to stick together from now on. Now, I've prepared an oath of allegiance. Are you ready to sign it? In fairness to all, do you mind telling us just who you are? Ain't it enough to know he's fighting for your land and freedom? Salvation's right. Now, we do solemnly swear loyalty to the Vigilance Committee of Sonoma Valley to do our utmost to protect California from Imperial Russia, and in its support, we pledge our lives, our fortunes, and our sacred honor. The Cossacks are coming. I'll lead them away. After they're gone, you get the rest of the signatures. Somebody go by here on a horse riding like the devil was after him? The devil? It is very quiet here. Search the place. Salvation got the vigilantes signed up. All finished. Come on, men.
everybody gone, everybody for salvation. Playing squat tag? No. I must have run into something. Hey, take a look at my head, will you? Why? Oh! Say, that's as pretty a goose egg as I've ever seen. What's pretty about it? Look. What? It's gone. What? The old. We gotta find the eagle. That means there's a traitor in the vigilantes. We must get up to Burr's Fort and find out who he is. Why, we could go up there and tear that fort clean apart. Yeah. No, it would mean bloodshed. And Burr would still have the names of all the vigilantes. I got an idea. If I can get some walnut juice and an old hat and some knickknacks, I believe I can walk right into Jason Burr's stronghold. Find out who that reptile is. That's a good idea. Now, this is how I'll do it. Looks like a Mexican peddler. Won't let him in? We'll see what he's got to sell first. General Burr said to not let anybody in. What he don't know won't hurt him. He's busy down to mine. He won't be back for an hour. We ought to be able to buy a little junk for him. Guard, open the gate. Senors, I have beautiful shawls for the ladies, fresh chicken, pans, skirts, hats, beads, cactus candy. All right, all right, all right, all right. Go on in. Gracias, right, senors. Go. Bring the beautiful things, senor. Look what he gave us. <laughs> Senorita, you buy the beautiful Sorapi horse? Not today, thank you. There's a spy among the vigilantes. Do you know who it is? No, but I'll try to find out. Ah, oh, I have the beautiful gift for you, senorita. They are pets. I give them to you. And when you're tired of them, they make delicious pigeon pie. If you do find out, they'll fly straight to the eagle. No, senorita. I tell you, I've got to see General Burr. Hold your horses. I told you he'd be here in a minute. Senor, you want to buy? See, si, Senor, it is very beautiful. You'd better buy. Because I've got a gun pointing right at your wishbone. General Burr is coming. Get that peddler out of here. See, si, Senor. I'd be very glad to take you back to town. Get in that seat and keep your mouth shut.
Where are you going, Peters? What's the matter with you? Speak up. Grab that Mexican. He's a spy. Yes, he stole this paper from me. It's a list of the vigilantes. Put him up! Vigilantes have signed their own death warrant. And as a lesson to all others, this peddler will be executed in the public square of Santa Rosalie. Salvation by now. He's been gone a long time. Have patience, my son. Now nothing's gonna happen to that old alligator. He's got out of more scrapes than he ever hear tell of. martial law under my rights as dictator and call upon you to witness the execution of one who dares defy my authority and death will come to every man whose name is on this paper and you are the first unless you choose to reveal who the eagle is who is the eagle that's for you to find out
was the eagle. That's for you to find out. Too fast next time, Salvation. You spoiled my aim. And his and two. Santa Rosalie. And that means that there can't be many men left at the fort. It's our one chance to capture it. Capturing the fort won't do us any good. No, but Colton's bound to know where Burr gets the gold to pay the Russians. Now, if we could wreck that old rattler's gold mine, we could mess up his plans. And put an end to his scheme of making a Russian colony out of California. Who's with me? Hi, Hi, let's go! Sonoma Valley is now under martial law. I am dictator of all California and will permit no resistance to my rule. Get your men started. We're going back to the fort. It's a vigilante. Get ready to play. Now, let them 
have a few rounds, and I'll let you know when to close in. Hadn't we better go with him, make sure he don't get in no trouble? When I get old Betsy warmed up, there won't be no trouble left for him to get into. Boys, come on in. It's all right, Doris. Get out of here.
in that hill. Dad said the entrance was hidden in the thicket. Oh, it's a pretty thick bush. Maybe it's in there. You'd better stay here with the vigilantes, Doris. Somebody here. That dang thing had stopped hammering. Maybe I could hear something. I'll tell you what you do, Salvation. Cut up some blasting powder. We're going to close this mine for good. Look! It's cold. What happened, Colton? They were careful. They know you're here. They can do the vigilantes and make tracks for the hideout. I'll jam you just as soon as me and Eagle can find some blasting powder and blow this place up. That's a good idea.
are coming! There must be somebody here. I'll tell you what you do, Salvation. Cut up some blasting powder. We're gonna close this mine for good. Look! It's closed. What happened, Colton? They were careful. They know you're here. Take you to the vigilantes, then make tracks to the hideout. I'll jam you just as soon as me and the Eagle can find some blasting powder and blow this place up. That's a good idea. Blasting powder. Blasting powder? I know what it is, senor. Well, then get it. We're going to close this mine for good. Well, you keep an eye on him. I'll send the others to the hideout. I want all of you to go to the hideout. I don't think Father can make it. He'll be all right, Doris. The vigilantes will take care of him. Stay with me, Whipstaw. We're going to put a stop to Burr's plan of conquering California. This will take care of things here. It's Petrov and the Cossacks. Get everybody under cover until I can lead them away. Then blow up the mine after I'm gone. Then meet me at the mission. Fort. All right, Padre Mio. We've captured the mine.
I can send your people back to their homes. We won't need you miners anymore. Oh, what are you going to do with me? You'll find out. Fix him up and join the Eagle at the mission. It's the vigilante. And the Eagle's with him. He's wounded. We'll try and hold them off here. Now's our chance. Just grab them in a the pocket. We'll knock them off one at a time. I'm going to take the one with the whiskers first. Going to that girl and the old man. Answer me. Albert, taking the girl and her father to the fort. Take off them clothes, Lucian. Hurry up. What you aiming to do, Whipsaw? Well, if it looks like a Russian, I'm going into that fort and get Miss Colt. What about the whiskers? Take your knife and shave them off of it. I'll use them. <laughs> well, Salvation, how do I look? Great. If I'd have known you looked that good, I'd have done it myself. Guess I'll be getting over to the fort. Come here, come here, come Да, больше ли красишь?
One time. I must go to General Berg. Where did your father get the eagle's coat? Well, the vigilante has blown up your mind. No, they won't stand for a dictator, huh? Well, I'll show them who's running California, mine or no mine. Get Peters here at once. Assemble your Cossacks. Stand by for orders. I'm learning you to come snooping around here. <clears throat> Don't you know me? I'm Whipsaw. Well, I'll be doggone. Well, I wouldn't done you either, Whipsaw. But what's up? Burger's laying a trap for the vigilante. He's got Peters dressed up like the eagle, and he's going to pull a fast one unless we can stop him. Going without it. Let me get to my horse. the vigilantes by here. Yes. Help! Help! What's 
matter with you, Peters? The eagle's after me. The eagle's coming. Why, in a minute, you see him. into ambush. I'll cut across and beat him to the Cossacks. You and Salvation circle around and warn the vigilantes. with you, Peters. The eagle's after me. The eagle's coming. Why, in a minute, you see him. Please! If 
Peters. The other one is the eagle. There he goes. After him. Not too much. If we're in for a siege. I've got it. Let's call you and salvation. Get two or three ropes and tie them together. That's a good idea. Stampede our horses. Two of you men stay here. The only one you catch? Yes, sir. I'm going to the fort to report to General Burr. When the other men come in, tell them to watch this trail until I get back. Right, sir. you, Count Raspinoff. So? What is it? Well, glad to see you, Count Raspinoff. I have brought you another shipment of arms and ammunition. Then there's nothing can stop me from becoming dictator of all California. I'll have it unloaded at once. Is the payment ready? General Burr is always ready for every emergency. But there'll be a slight delay, an unfortunate mishap. The Eagle has raided my gold mine, and it's closed temporarily. I'm glad to report, however, that we have succeeded in ambushing the vigilantes, and the ambush failed. But we have the vigilantes trapped in their hideout. Then it's only a matter of time until we succeed in starving them in suspicion. But why delay? Russia would simply blast them out of that position I've done with the whole thing. You have the artillery, I've brought you ammunition. 
exactly what I'll do. Come on, Petrov. Hey, get out that field piece. We're going to blow the vigilantes off the face of the earth. Come on, hurry. Come on, men, roll out that field piece. Burr is sending a cannon and a wagon load of ammunition to attack the vigilantes. If you could warn the eagle. I can. That's why I left me the pigeons. Ammunition, shall we take along? All of it. I want you to stay at the hideout. The last vigilante is dead. You're the one that's been informing the Eagle of my plans, huh? What, what do you mean? Oh, you don't know what I mean, do you? your message, of course. You wanted to capture the ammunition wagon, don't you? Well, you'll get a little surprise when he does. Probably anxious to surrender, and ain't nobody brought a bead on him yet. Yeah. 
party, don't you? <laughs> now, you know, that message was meant for us, all right, but I can't understand why Dora sent it. Maybe Burr wrote it. No, it was in her handwriting. Hey, there comes another wagon over the hill. Maybe we just hit the wrong wagon. That must be the one. You line over while I draw off the Cossacks and we can capture the whole works. That's a good idea. that wagon.
Captain's the wagon. Get up there and handle the brake while I give it another shove. You get up behind him and go to the mission. I do my own ride. I know, baby. No, it's better this way. I'll take Whitmore's horse and deliver the ammunition to the hideout, and I'll join you later. Now get going. You're the eagle's horse. I think you'll come in handy. Bring him along. Salvation, old man. I didn't know they had you stretched out. How do you feel? Wait till I get up. I'll show Jason Byrne his Cossacks who's dictator of California. How about the vigilantes? Can they hold out? They have enough ammunition now to hold that place till Fremont gets here. If they have to. No ammunition. It's there for his feet. They moved out. Pull us off! Pull us off! Thank you. 
You men, get among those rocks. The rest of you, get along the trail. I want to cover this spot from every angle. Wheel that gun around. Place between those two rocks. It's horse, all right. It's from the Eagle. He's hiding out in Stony Canyon and he needs help. Come on, boys. until you get them trapped amongst those boulders, and then close in. Don't fire unless you have to. I want them alive. Drop your weapon. Keep your hands away from your gun. My general, your ambition to rule California as a Russian colony will never be realized. What about the eagle? We didn't get him, but we used his horse to trap his men. And we'll use his men to trap the eagle. Bird's going to trick the eagle. We must warn him. What can you do? He took your pigeons. I'll get them. Plenty the eagle of Effie. Come on in, Miss Golden. Perhaps you'd be interested in hearing what it says. I told him that I would turn his vigilante friends loose if he would come here and surrender. That's fair enough trade, is it? If he's as brave as you think he is, I'm quite sure he'll take me up.
its arrivals. Hey, you, stand still. What's the matter with you? Stand still. Well, what do you want this time? I have a message for General Burr. He's busy. Well, it's from the Eagle. Well, that's different. Come on inside. In my opinion, a shrewd man like the Eagle will not come here. I'm counting on the man's peculiar code of honor. Excuse me, General, but this organ player says he has a message from the Eagle. Oh, he has, huh? Well, come on, out with it. Well, of course, I don't know what he means, but he said that he'd be in the stockade five minutes after I arrive. Five minutes after you arrive? Come on, we'll get ready to receive our visitor. The Eagle will be here in five minutes. Post our men on the walls and shoot him down as soon as he enters the gate. Petrov will take care of the vigilante. Ready? Keep smiling if you know what's good for you. Hey! I've kept my appointment. Now release my men. Take it easy. We'll talk this thing over. There's nothing to talk about. Do as I tell you. Now change my mind, Petrov. Turn those men loose. Do as I tell you. Give them the horses and send them home. That's stomach!
Excuse me for rushing in like this, but I... You? The organ player? Yes. Yes, my name is Don Loring. Don Loring? Those men killed your father and brother. Yes. I, uh, I have to wear these things. Yeah, hide in there. Quick. Thanks. They'll find you. Has the eagle been in here? In my room? Search every place, inside and out. The eagle is not in the fort. He's bound to be here somewhere, but I've been to every room. All over the place, he's not here. Get out, go on, get out of here. I don't see how you can expect to be dictated of all California when you can't even dictate to one man. What difference does one bandit make to me? I have Monterey, Sacramento, and Los Angeles, all under my control. I have all passes from the south covered. This entire district is mine. All except Sonoma Valley. What of it? Well, it'll be a question of time till I'll wipe out this eagle and his vigilante. Meanwhile, I have lots of gold. Money for you, for me, and the Tsar. Find this treaty making me governor for life, and the imperial Russian flag will fly before nightfall. Mm. Mm. There's, there's plenty of time. That's where you're wrong. Fremont and his cavalry will be back from Oregon most any day. Then treaty it will be. All land. Mineral rights, property, and people pass the personal ownership of the Tsar. The Russian flag will fly, but you will reign as dictator. As practically as I have it written. Albert! Prepare a coach for his excellency. What a better off to furnish an escort. We're starting the treaty on its way to Russia. Right, General. You'll have to put these on, Miss Colton. Oh, but they won't fit. I'm sorry, it's the only way you'll get out of this fort. Well, what about you? Well, don't you worry about me. I'll wait outside for you until you're ready. Careful, don't let it touch the ground. You're in Russia now, Talbot.
they're taking the treaty to Monterey. Yes, that means you'll have to leave at once. I can't do a thing until I know you're safe. But suppose they recognize me. I know it's risky, but you keep your face hidden and no one will notice you. Good luck. Hey, what's that organ player been doing for the last hour? I don't know. Keep an eye on him. Wait a minute, you. Not so fast. Russian's bullet went right through here, but I'm so tough it didn't even leave a hole. <laughs> you know, Padre, seems like I'm better than I ever was. Good work, you old horse thief. <laughs> well, I swung. Rasmanov has a treaty and is headed for Monterey. If he ever gets out of the valley, Russia's soldiers will overrun California. It's up to me to stop him. You mean it's up to us to stop him? You're supposed to be sick. Yeah, but if I stayed here, who'd take care of you? Well, I'm glad you're here, Doris. What's so? Salvation. Come on. We're going after Raspinov. Them. Drag that old dead tree across the road, maybe we can make them take the ford. That's a good idea. Huh. Wouldn't surprise me, none if you could lift that for yourself. You always claim to be so strong. Well, I'd like to see you try and lift it. I don't do nothing my horse can do better. Well, I already did say that horse had more sense than you've got. Come on, fix it down here. Hey, 
fallen tree is blocking the road. Shall we move it? No, there's no time for that. Where does that lead? Across the ford. It's quicker, but rough. We'll go that way. Thank you. 
rice for now. Until we can get a shot at the eagle. We have to get to the mission. Come on, get up here. There's no use searching any longer. We'll go back to the fort and report to General Burr. That's just the point. Russia will back out. Not even gold will make a risk war with the United States. There's only one thing to do. And that's to prevent the Eagle from leaving Sonoma Valley. How can he? The army guarding every pass. Here's our one weak point, Ortega Pass. The Eagle will ride north. We've got to reinforce our outposts. we will snap your line across the whole district. It'll take more men than I have at the fort. Assemble your Cossacks and ride there at once. Leave half a dozen men with Talbot. Dispatch runners to all outposts. Have every available man report to a table path at once. Santa Rosalie, and your picked men to the mine. What are you going to do now? Look for the treaty first signed with Russia. You'll pay for this outrage. I'm an emissary from the court of his imperial majesty. Sov Russia. Oh. Well, maybe you are and maybe you ain't. That ain't going to make the edges of this knife no duller. Where do you want me to start? Czar's gonna be pretty mad at me for doing this to you, you big Russian. There you are. Take care of him.
Look, a treaty signed by Burmick in California, a Russian colony. That means that Fleur has won. Not if I can get this treaty to Fremont. Oh, but how can you? Jason Burr controls every pass from the valley. I know one place that ain't tightened up yet. Ortego Pass. There's only a couple of Russians there. How do you know? I got it out of Raspinov. Then that's our route to Fremont. Come on. on the left and keep them on the cover. That's me. And are you men along the ridge? Spread out and cover every inch of that hill. There's no telling where the eagle might try to get through. Put your horses back there and deploy to the right. Hurry it up. They may be here any time. What are we stopping for? Ain't nobody here. Let's try the old Indian trick, Whipsaw. That's a good idea. So they're laying for us. I got an idea. That's impossible. Flip down. Give me your rifle. Let me have that treaty, Don. Back in the mountains where I come from, we used to tote messages this away. Yes, but uh how are you going to get through? They'll spot you in a minute in that outfit. Not when I get myself fixed up, they won't. Hold this a minute. <laughs> See anything? No. Good luck! Someone is coming.
Oh. Who are you? Me? Uh, Juan Fernando, Felipe Santa Maria. Emilio Ventura. Where are you going? Ah, I go to seek beauty, my friend. Love, life, and happiness. This isn't the eagle. Let him go. Nice gun you have there. Oh, my rifle? You take him? Maybe I go long hunt. I need my gun. Here, take my gun. Get along. Adios, senor. Whipsaw, make me up a bow and arrow. I'll be right back.
get out of here. Look after him, Whipsaw. See if there's anything he wants. How long do you aim to hold him here? Until Fremont gets here and raises the flag of the United States over Sonoma Valley. That's a good idea. Well, it's our only way to keep Jason Burr from becoming dictator of California and turning it into a Russian colony. Without Raspinoff, he can't get aid from the Tsar's troops. Thank you, my child. You know, I think it would be a kind deed if you took some to Count Raspinoff. I intend to, Padre. Scratched off. Oh, but it's bleeding. Doris, yes. some water and bandages, quickly. Jason Burr's treaty with Russia is on its way to Captain Fremont. Salvation got through the Cossack outpost at Ortega Pass. We should reach the American troops by tomorrow. Then we've seen the last of Jason Burr and his Cossacks. Cossacks, quick, get down there. They must find you here. like a highwayman. There's nothing here worth stealing. How about you? Have you seen the eagle? 
How could I, senor? Uh, this is the hour for my music lesson. Search the place. Don't stand there like dummies. But if he wears a mask, how will you know him? He's wounded. If I find a man with blood on him, I'll know I have the right one. What's the matter with you? Nervous? No, uh, I'm just a little faint. The Eagle is not in the mission, Commander. If you ever do see the Eagle, let me know. Si, senor. He never was in no trouble. I had him covered all the time. Quick, though, I want you to light out of here and round up the vigilantes to meet at the hideout. Be ready to join Fremont's troops as soon as he arrives. We're going to fight it out with Berg. The mission bell will be your signal. And as soon as you hear it, come on the run. Petrov took up the chase. Did you catch him? No, General Burr. We lost him around a mission. Did you search the place thoroughly? Certainly. Nobody there but the old pottery and that organ player. Organ player? Say, did it ever occur to you that he's always around whenever the eagle disappears? You don't think that weakling is the eagle? I'll go back and pull him out by the heel. Oh, wait a minute. I've got a better plan. Senor Padre, I come from Santa Rosalie. El Capitan Fremont, he sent me. Is he there? Si, senor. He sent me to look for the eagle. Well, I'm sorry, but he's not here. El Capitan will be sorry, too. I go look elsewhere. Take a look, Doris. Make sure that he's gone. American troops got here sooner than I expected. I'll go meet them and then notify the vigilantes. Be careful. I will, Dora. Get that girl and bring her along. Right. Come on. So the great eagle's been caged at last. So 
Shall I have him shot at once? Not yet. Perhaps not at all if you'll tell us where he's hidden Count Raspinoff. Where is Raspinoff? I want an answer. Call out the firing squad. Which what? You can't do it. Please. Don't shoot him down in cold blood. Where is Count Raspinoff? Fireman ready, Petrov. Ready? Go ahead. Get it over with. Tell them to stop. Aim! I'll lead you to Raspinoff. But if I do, will you promise to let the eagle go free? Petrov, don't fire. As you were. You have my word for it. Put her on a horse. Petrov. The girl will lead you to Count Raspinoff. When he's safely in your hand, tend to the eagle. You told me you searched this place. You better not try to fool me. I won't. When I'm sure the eagle will be freed, I'll show you where Raspinoff is hidden. Lock him in the sexton's room and give me the key. All right. Provided there isn't any way for him to escape. Looks safe enough. Put him in here. Now show us where Count Raspinoff is hidden. Burn. Come on, 
let's get out of here.
I know they couldn't trap the eagle. We were worried about you for a minute. Yeah, so was I. Heard anything from Simon? No, not a word. But I did learn that there's a Russian troop ship anchored off Monterey. And it's ready to land men and take over California as soon as Burr makes a payment in gold. What'll we do? Grab Burr's gold mine. That's a good idea. All right, boys, if the fire's out, let's mount up. She's out. Good. Let's go. Let's go. You really think the American soldiers will get here in time to keep California from becoming a Russian colony? Sure. Salvation went out to fetch them. And I've never known that old alligator to fail at anything. Yet, of course he'll find Fremont. Where is the treaty? I presume your band has sent the eagle that sent it to Captain Fremont. Fremont? And his ten soldiers? They'll be taken care of just as soon as they enter or take a pass. That's the only entrance into the valley from the north. And I planted four tons of blasting powder. That ought to give them a noisy reception. You mean the pass is mined? Just as soon as you and your troops, your czar will become the owner of one of the wealthiest colonies in the world. Gold, tons of it. Just waiting to be turned into cash. Yes, waiting, that's the point, Burr. I refuse to land any troops until you've made full payment, according to our agreement. You want me to pay for goods before they're delivered? Well, I'm rich. I can afford to trust anyone. It's gold you want, listen to this. Better off. Right to the lines, have all available bullion loaded. Leave orders to have a uh, hundred weights set aside for my friend, Count Rastanov. You heard my order. Now go. Yes, sir. Before those gold bars will be cold enough to ship. An hour, I guess. Maybe two. I can't wait that long. Cool them off. I haven't any way of doing it. You haven't, eh? Well, then sit on them. Vigilante horses. That means they've beaten us to the mine. We'll have to fight. Prepare for a siege. Come and ride. You'll be 
all right now, Doris. Your father will take you to the mission just as soon as Fremont gets here. Fremont? Fremont? Yes, he's coming with American troops to drive Burr out of California. He should be pretty close to Ortega Pass. He can't come that way. The pass is mine. Burr's been planting powder there for weeks. The Cossacks will blow it up on them. I must get to Fremont and warn him. Salvation. What brings you up in this part of the country? I come to deliver this. Don Loring said that if you see what was read in there, that you ran your soldiers to California like a pack of hounds chasing a rabbit. Well, this is an agreement between Jason Burr and the Imperial Russian government. Sure it is. The scoundrel is actually offering to deliver California in exchange for the office of governor. We know that. That's why I bring you this. And what we want to know is, are you are coming? Yes. American troops? Not yet. Hurry up and get the rest of that parlor planted. Right.
wants us to halt for some reason. We'll take you to the mission just as soon as Fremont gets here. Fremont? Fremont? Yes, he's coming with American troops to drive Burr out of California. You should be pretty close to Ortega Pass. He can't come that way. The pass is mine. Where he's been planting powder there for weeks. The contacts will blow it up on them. I must get to Fremont and warn him. Watch him go. Any sign of those American troops? Not yet. Hurry up and get the rest of that powder planted. Right. to move out. We're going to blow up this place. Thank you. 
spot or take a pass. No one will ever get through there again. We'll have to go around the mountain and enter Santa Rosalie from the east. But that'll take days. Vigilantes can only hold Burr's gold mine for another hour or two. I know where there's a goat trail that sort of corkscrews up a cliff and then wiggles down into the valley. Well, where is it? Can we get through? Well, I don't know how it is going up, but I come down by the way. We'll try it. Wait! Wait! Close call. I hope we get to the mine in time. We'd best be going. Right. There's a sniper at work somewhere. Those shots are not coming from the mine. I've spotted him.
Fremont! Let's get out of here. Fremont's troops, back to the fort. Right, Dora. Then take your father to the mission. I hope Fremont catches the Cossacks before they reach the floor. Any minute now from the mine. It is our week. Doesn't matter to me. I'll wait. Not the trouble with you, foreigners. Wait. Would I have been dictator of California had I waited? Why didn't you land soldiers just as soon as your troop ship reached Monterey? Then we wouldn't have to sit here and worry as to whether Fremont arrived with his Yankee cavalry or not. So you're not so sure about the gold payment after all? You're not worrying, are you, Bert? No. long time to get in, unless we can crack those gates. I think I have it. Wait a minute. Wait a minute. Piece of view, Salvation. Hey, John, you're aiming to blow them up. Maybe Whipstar could toss it over the wall. That ain't a good idea. Saddle. Wait a minute, Don. What are you getting ready to do? Open those gates for you. I'm going to make a dash for it and drop that by the wall. You're mad. You'll never make it. I won't permit you to take the risk. You want those gates blown open, don't you? Now, there won't be any risk if you let me do it my way. I'm going to ride out through that thicket and out to the wall and tear along it. And all you've got to do is to keep up a hot fire. I'm going to need a lot of rifle fire. Rapid fire, men. The Eagle's going into the open.
General Burr? Too bad. He had a good idea, all right. Yeah, but he didn't figure on the vigilantes. Well, I won't need this anymore. Russia is retiring from California. Don't mind. I shall take this with me. Governor of California to act. And such a new governor, too. Congratulations, my son. You'll make a great governor. 